What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about a little story today that's quite interesting. Now, generally, I hate talking about this uh, Activision Blizzard thing. I want it to go through. I want people to move on. I want if other studios are going to get bought, get bought, don't get bought, whatever. Just please stop all this stuff. So generally, I try to stay away from it. But this one, this piece of information, I should say, is pretty interesting, and it's something that I've always wondered, we've kind of talked about here and there, you know, Game Pass, such a good service. I mean, it's not shilling, it's just literally saying you pay a ridiculously low price for this thing and you get a lot of things. And how do you make money from that in terms of Microsoft or Xbox? Do the games, like how do they do? How much money do they get from Xbox? That's something I've always wondered. What are these contracts like? How much does Microsoft offer them to get on the subscription service? Now that stuff is actually what I'm most interested in, and that is not answered in today's uh, news story. But what is answered is that in an official filing, again, this is these are things that are out into the wild, right? You, you're not supposed to lie about this stuff, otherwise you'll face pretty harsh penalties. And we got a paragraph, or even specifically more, a sentence. And this sentence says there's a redacted percentage decline in base game sales 12 months following their addition on Game Pass. Couple things. The redacted is the percent number. So it is possible that the percent number is zero. It suffers 0% you know, drop in sales. It's possible it's 5%, 10%, something that wouldn't be you know, alarming. I'd love, love to know the number because this is something that I've always wondered. I, maybe it's something that other people have wondered. Maybe it's just me. But I think why it's making such a big you know, splash is because Phil Spencer said the opposite back in 2018, right? Back in 2018, he said games actually benefit. They actually get a boost in sales. So that's the same amount of sales plus some because of Game Pass. Now, I never really believed that to be the case. I don't know if I ever thought he was lying. I actually forgot that that was even said. Although there was a part of me that was like, wait, wasn't it kind of said that it doesn't hurt sales? Again, it's it's not necessarily, by the way, for the love of God, please don't do this. It's not me like taking necessarily a dig at any of this kind of stuff. It is just things that are interesting to me. You have to imagine that when a game is on Game Pass, why would you buy it, right? Now, there are examples where that's not the case. The, the one that always comes to my mind is Sea of Thieves, specifically Pirate's Life. When the you know Pirates of the Caribbean, the Jack Sparrow Returns came for, for that, it was actually at the top, I believe, of Steam in sales. It actually sold incredible, and it was on, I, I feel like it was on the leaderboards at number one for a good four, five, six weeks, or maybe then a drop, but it was like up there. I remember it just did so well, and it was a, a thing, an example, that a lot of people looked at and said, see, see, just because it's on Game Pass doesn't mean it doesn't sell. And I'm also sure that still, you can still say that. I still believe, you know, just because a game is on Game Pass, that doesn't mean nobody buys it. But that's the kind of stuff that I would just love to know where it's like, well, number one, does it still get bought on other platforms? Well, I'm sure, right? If, 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 the, if it's a third-party game, say uh, Upcoming, right? Atomic Heart is actually going to be one of them that comes out next week. Or Texas Chainsaw, it's a game I'm really interested in, right? Uh, over the next coming months, whenever it actually releases. You know, if it comes out on Game Pass, a couple things. Well, how well does it sell on other platforms? Does it hurt sales across the board? Or does it just hurt sales on Xbox? I'd love to know that. And then, how much does it hurt on Xbox? If you were going to get all of your sales, 100% of your sales, for you know this uh, Xbox group, and you put it on Game Pass, do you now get 20%? And it's something that, again, I've always thought, eh, not too big of a deal. It's just something I've always assumed. Now, maybe you buy it physically, right? Maybe that's something that you want to do, preservation, all that stuff. Maybe you want to give to the studio. I've talked about, there's a couple of games throughout my uh, life history where I've bought it more than one time. Pretty limited, but I, I try every now and then. It's actually been a while. Uh, to support, you know, games I'm really interested, especially if they're small, right? Maybe I'll buy them twice, depending depending so you know there's there are examples but do you get like 20 percent of the sales that you would normally get because of those examples because if it's on game pass why are you you know and it's honestly specifically in the time period that we're in not to get political or to get too scared of like world events it's bad out there if you can get a game if i can get atomic heart for free on game pass there is no way on this earth 
that I'm buying that game. Times are tough, and I can't buy every single game that releases a year. I mean, it's it's a personal thing, right? It jumps from person to person. Everybody's got their different situations. But I think, generalizing it, when we are in such a difficult time, when you can get these games for free on Game Pass, yes, you have to pay for Game Pass, but you get them for free. Why, why would you go out to buy it? No, that's not excusing Phil Spencer literally not only lying, but saying the exact opposite about it. Yet again, there's been a lot of lies from all these companies that we've uh, kind of discovered in this Activision Blizzard thing. It's a reason uh, why I don't like to talk about it all, because I'm sure you're going to get people in the comments. I'm sure you guys have already done it. Um, PlayStation versus Xbox, one's better naturally than the other. I can't stop it, so I won't stop it, but it's generally why I stay away from these topics. But I did think this was interesting. It's something I had always assumed. I kind of remembered that maybe that wasn't the case, and but now, I mean, this stuff should be the official stuff, right? If you're going to believe Phil Spencer's words over this, that's really tough because you, you're not supposed to make this stuff up. Like you, You're not really supposed to lie about this. So I think this is actually the truth, that games do suffer. However... What's the percentage that dang redacted? Because it could be 2%. It could, it could hurt sales by 2%, which is, I mean, I'll take it as zero. I'll just round down at that point, you know what I mean? But if it's like 76%, it's like, okay, all right. So you would have sold four copies. Instead, you sell one because it's on Game Pass. That would be a pretty big deal. So I'd love to know kind of behind the scenes of what that number is. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on. And I hope to see you all on the next one.